Hi everyone. Now here I will be giving a demo portrait of an old man, you know, and all those beard of texture of the mustache, you know, as you can see here in the photo, you know, how do you kind of get those result, you know, how do you get this those texture, you know. So this is just a preview video, you know, and where you can see how I kind of, uh, you know, uh, master the art of uh, portraiture. You know, as you can see here, I'm kind of uh, drawn the center line here, you know, and uh, kind of uh, you know, get the ideas of the form here. So again, doing the construct of the form here. And with those angle of the eyebrow, I can, at the eye socket, I can get the angle of the, you know, uh, the form here. So I'm trying to find first the, you know, uh, first the eye socket there. And then getting into the the drawing shape here, you know, as you can see here. You know. So uh, a bit of uh, you know um, kind of a just drawing of the form here, the shapes here. You know. So getting into the that uh, construct of the this form of the the jawline or you know so. But try to draw as simple as possible, not getting into too much detail in the beginning still, you know. When you draw something, it has to be more into the, the idea of uh, the form, you know. And that is how actually you draw something. So right here, I'm kind of uh, looking for the value shift there. So yes, we can do here is those different, you know, the, uh, the, the folds and the drapery of the model here, you know. And uh, you can see here, I have taken some uh, color such as the, my color such as the, in uh, like the light red, yellow upper, alizarin crimson, you know, Indian red. You know, and uh, a bit of uh, blue and uh, transparent brown oxide and black, you know. I like using black a lot, you know, because one of my favorite color is black color. You know? And you can see here, I'm kind of a little bit, you know, use it, have used the, uh, the brown but and a bit of the blue and the that and then kind of you know, toning down those values here, you know. Uh, like getting the first layer of the color, you know. And which is very, very transparent. I'm not using too much of, uh, you know, paint you know I'm just trying to fill those values there so as you can see I'm just toning down the values of the form here and uh, again uh, the, the overall form and the shape of the uh, this uh, drapery is on the blue side uh, a mutual cool grayish blue here you know so that is what I'm up to here you know I'm kind of a making it more on the blue side and uh, you know something on the warmer side here you know again here into this portrait here i'm just trying to build as light as possible now you know uh, creating some more chroma in the beginning only side plane you know a bit more chromatic in the beginning because as you know that uh, in oil paint uh, the painting dries fat over lean you know so if my subsequent layers is more on the On the lighter side, uh, you know, then I can build up the form more nicely. You know? and that's the I I idea, basically. You know? That's the idea, basically. So getting the 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 bigger colors for the background here I can see has made more lighter there you know and then I will start to go into the you know the form here you know and I'm, I'm using also a little of the transition of the values there from light to dark and then fan brush is really good to kind of the even the values here and there you know and that is what I'm up to here 
so now i'm kind of uh, start building the darkest value there you know uh, then i will just all the values from there you know so that is actually what i do you know uh, kind of uh, looking for those value system there you no know, but uh, it's really important how do you mix the color how do you mix the values you know and uh, how do you take it further from here you know? so the the painting start with kind of uh, the building of the values you know and setting up the shapes nicely okay so uh, some darker values some darker grays some lighter values but yeah mostly the darkest value underneath this drapery here which is the darkest color which i can see here now Here also I bit put kind of really darker value there. So slowly, slowly as you can see how I am kind of you know changing the value system, how I am changing the you know, other areas of the form here, and I am trying to bit more of the cerulean blue here into this blue here, because I feel that blue is a little bit more on the chromatic side, you know, and uh, and try try to put more on the blue side here. A bit, a bit lightening the areas on top of the form here, and a bit putting some more warmer color in that because it's not so like uh, bluish. There has some some warm undertone to that also, you know. So that's why I'm doing here. You know, I'm kind of building the form here. Uh, around here, I have kind of you know getting into the darkest value of the form here of the of the of the, uh, of the beard here, you know, and getting into the those form defined here, you know. As you can see how I'm kind of transitioning those values together. Yeah, some lighter, darker values, some shadows values, you know. And then, no, really look, grouping the values together. So everything starts with the bigger, bigger shapes, you know. And uh, and then it starts with the smaller, smaller defining of the form, you know. So. Really trying to get into those basic of the form, the definition of the form, you know, and get into the high result of the of the painting here. So try to really get into the, that drama of painting, the colors, the value, the edges, you know. And as you can see, how I'm kind of you know getting to the, the area of uh, form definition. I kind of a little bit muting the colors when the forms is turning here, you know. So that's kind of really important here, you know. Building up the lights, building up the forms. So the side plane of the of the face here, and then top part of the nose here, you know, kind of a, a bit of the adjusting some of the values, putting some of the darker values there. You know, and slowly, slowly, you see how I build the planar structure. I'm not blending at all, you know. I'm not into the too much of blending now. The whole idea is to kind of uh, look for subtle movement of the values here, you know, and kind of uh, uh, also uh, getting the the to form painting there, you know. So that's kind of really important. You know? I'm slowly, slowly, I'm building the lights. Slowly, slowly, I'm getting the sense of the form there, you know, and uh, and that's kind of uh, you know. Uh, important to you know really create nice sense of a transition forms and develop as an artistic way you know, so that you can really develop with a three dimensional form there you know not putting too much of uh, uh, contrast happening here you, know. so you can see how i'm bending the lights how i'm bending the form here you know. and, uh, and that's kind of really important you know. so that is why it's the idea to show you the preview of that you know like how do you master something how do you kind of create a world class you know, portraits you know uh, it's all about building the layers and layers of uh, you know painting uh, and this is the indirect method of painting where i'm putting the first layer let it dry and the second layer let it dry third layer let it dry and then i will be just also putting some glazes here and there you know so it's how i kind of build the form how i kind of define the form and really looking for a transition of the inside form outside form you know and looking for the value shift here and there you know so that's kind of really important here you know? very very important thing so values transition 
light and form transition and and slowly slowly getting into the darkish values defined there you know slightly moving the area you know and uh, getting into the, the three dimensional form here for the subtle value shift here into that uh, the areas of the you know uh, the glabella you know which is the center of the of the portrait here you know so starting with that so that you know i can just the values all around from there also and as you can see how i slowly slowly i'm building the form here you know so Yeah, and then you need uh, some of the smaller brushes for that, you know. And then when you're working from the photo, you have to kind of uh, you know uh, relate it and make it more lighter. And uh, if something is very dark, into this lighter area. You know? so the whole idea is to minimize the contrast wherever you paint, you know. Uh, and that is what I'm doing here. I'm kind of minimizing the contrast here and there, and building the form in such a way that it starts to look more three-dimensional. as you can see i have progressed here until here now you know and many of the areas are singed in you know uh but and that's what happens when the oil paint start to dry you know it starts to sink in and and that's why you know uh, it becomes looks more matte and flat but again when i will go to that area i will try to put some more oil into that and then it will come to in like like it will come to the real value so it's not a problem here But actually, you see here, I'm really trying to get the volume of this form here. You know how the the volume is defined into each section of the form here. You know, I'm really looking for the nice sense of a transition happening there, and the values shift the color and the form. You know? So yeah, those things are really really crucial if you really want to master the portraiture here. And you can look for the subtle shift of the values and how I'm transitioning the values there. You know? uh, so, and the texture also uh, is done when you have a a nice uh, volume defined underneath, and then it will work really nicely. And you know? otherwise, it will start to work in such a way that you know uh, uh, that it will look uh, out of the context of the bigger picture. You know, so when you whenever you're putting the texture like this, you know you have to really think about the overall bigger volume. Okay. So yeah, guys. I think uh, you have learned something from here today. I hope you know, and uh, you can uh, you can uh, watch more of my videos. You know, you can you can just uh, uh, if you have liked the this uh, session here, you can just click like button. If you want to subscribe my channel, you can subscribe by clicking subscribe. You know, and then uh, I'm also on Ashish Patel underscore artist on Instagram. If you want to come and see more of my work there, you're most welcome. You know. and uh, you know uh, so keep in keep in touch everyone and uh, and for more upcoming videos but in many of the videos there are link given so you can go to the my link there and you can buy as many videos as you want you know so the last thing which i'm giving is not the last thing but yeah i'm starting to build those texture of the beard and mustache you know so as you can see here how i'm kind of building the lights and three dimension form i know and then uh, maybe now you will see the final image of the painting here which is how actually it was done you know uh, and uh, and that's kind of really important you know so bye everyone take care